Welcome to Moss Rock tutorial videos. In this short video, we're going to cover the use of the outdoor Weber grill. Uh, please note first off, there is a spare full propane tank always kept to the left of the barbecue. So should you run into propane in the existing tank during your stay, just simply switch out the tank and you'll have a full tank to use. And that should last you a long, long time. Uh, first off, for lighting instructions, uh, Weber does have a safety function on their grills. If for some reason during your last use, you actually kept the tank in the on position, that can result in a little bit of gas being left in the lines. Uh, that will actually keep the barbecue from having full flow of the fuel. And uh, it may actually result in some pretty low temperatures when you're trying to get the grill warmed up. So if that is the case and you are not getting proper gas flow and the barbecue is not uh, heating up, just turn the tank all the way clockwise to shut it off completely. Turn your gas control on and maybe hit the ignite button and you might actually see a little puff of flame just uh, evacuating the last of the gas out of the lines. Okay, once you've done that, turn it right back off again and then follow the normal lighting procedure where you're just going to open up the tank all the way counterclockwise and, and open the top choose the burners you want to turn on all right the igniter works very well in this barbecue you should hear a nice fast sound of fuel flowing uh, this, this barbecue does get very hot the grills perform very well you should be able to hear the gas flowing like that uh, that'll let you know that it's uh, it's flowing properly okay to turn them off clockwise and close up the grill make sure you turn the gas off Okay, when you do that, that'll make sure that the uh, the grill fires up properly the next time. Uh, quick notes, underneath you've got a drip tray. There are spare foil drip trays in the center cabinet of the island in the kitchen. Your cleaning brush is underneath. And there's a good quality barbecue cover. If you could please put that on once the barbecue cools down, especially if it's going to rain, it'll keep the grill uh, looking good for a long time to come. Thank you very much. Enjoy your stay.